Geosciences plays a very critical role in energy transition. We use geosciences to identify sustainable energy resources like geothermal energy, critical minerals, hydrogen. We also need to understand geology to be able to store CO2 underground safely to mitigate climate change. And last, we need to understand the principles of geosciences to understand the environmental impacts of energy development. So we can make sure that when we plan these big energy projects, it's done sustainably. Earth scientists need to develop a very interdisciplinary approach to tackle these energy challenges of the future. To prepare students for developing this interdisciplinary thinking at WVU, our courses in integrate principles from various disciplines like chemistry, physics, biology, environmental sciences, social sciences into our curriculum. Our new curriculum has a strong focus on sustainable development and sustainability. At WVU, we are pioneering research in exploring the potential of geothermal resources on eastern United States. What makes West Virginia University special is being centralized in the Appalachian region and the Appalachian Mountain. We have a higher heat source than the rest of the eastern seaboard. I'm leading a DOE-funded project on deep direct use geothermal systems, which do not need high temperature subsurface heat. The project has the possibility of opening up the geothermal potential across 70% of US, where the geothermal energy development has been severely limited due to lower subsurface temperatures. It also provides us the opportunity to transition the traditional oil and gas workforce into clean energy jobs. My lab is called Isobiogem Lab. The full form of that is isotopic and biogeochemical character of geological materials and our focus is primarily on developing technologies in sustainable energy. The nice thing about the ISOGEMS folks is they're getting exposure across the spectrum. They're working in industry or they're working in national laboratories. They get a greater sense of the real world implications. We are doing some very cool research on how we can store hydrogen and carbon dioxide safely underground. These two techniques will be very critical for meeting our climate goals and for complete decarbonization of our economies. We are also working on developing methods to extract critical minerals and rare earths from coals and shales and fossil fuel wastes because these elements are really, really critical for developing some of these renewable energy technologies and they are really scarce. My experience in the Isobiogen Lab has led me to an interdisciplinary, multidimensional take on renewable energy research and has really developed myself as a young career researcher. One of the more recent things that we've done here at the Isobiogen Lab is we've led the way in developing the Sustainable Energy Student Ambassadors, or CESA. What this organization looks to do is give access and information to students about what renewable energy is and the opportunities in which they can expand into that growing field. A lot of wastewater is generated during oil and gas production. But depending on where this wastewater is produced, the geochemical systems and the geological environment can greatly dictate the chemistry of the water produced. This leads to high concentrations of lithium or rare earth elements. My research is actually helping inform the industry about which areas under the subsurface to target. Historically, geosciences has proven to be a subject that has met the energy demands and the needs of the world, we can see that more and more scientists are taking interest in how the different kinds of waste materials that are produced from mining, oil and gas production can be reused for extraction of critical elements. Dr. Sharma and the department has always provided ample support and resources to go out there and talk to different kinds of people outside the research setting. Those collaborations have helped me talk to people in the professional setting and gain insights that I would normally not have in an academic setting. WVU is kind of a unique place for students to come and do energy research. The key point that several of these students are missing is how geology is really essential for developing sustainable energy. The ISO GEMS Lab is a great example of what's important at a research university when it comes to the students. While they're engaged in cutting edge research, at the same time, they're actually doing field work, they're working with industry, 
They're working at national labs, so they get a great deal of exposure to different kinds of work environment. And I think that really is great career preparation for them. WVU is building leaders for the future of renewable energy. I'm really excited in the next upcoming decades to see where we all end up. We've had this great experience working in these collaborative teams. We've had some really good results and we've worked really efficiently to make sure our results are implemented within decarbonization timelines. I think there's going to be a lot of leaders and a lot of good people coming out of the labs and facilities here at WVU. We bring our strengths to the table. When all of us can work collectively, then only we'll be able to solve the energy challenges that are ahead of us in the future.